Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Fresh King Johns here, back with another video. And this video gonna be a little different. I guess I just made this video just to vent to y'all, let y'all know what's going on in my life right now. Cause I gotta let it out to somebody. And, and like, at this rate, y'all are probably the only people I feel comfortable with talking to this about, talking about this too um i'm my, mentally and emotionally my mind is in a very dark place right now because i feel like i can't catch a break in life it seems like everything it seems like something good will happen to me in life and then two things bad will happen to me in life like i could take two steps forward but then i'll take four steps back right as soon as i think i have something good or as soon as i think I, I finally caught a break the most the most snake the most snake shit happened to me right so if y'all got like again i keep repeating this because i know i haven't been consistent since like august september type shit but um i'm uh i'm i'm his other son i'm his other son Oh, you yeah, I'm doing all right. right. My name's Shaquise. Shaquise, nice yes, to meet you. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. So I know I haven't necessarily been consistent since like August, September type shit, right? I know I haven't necessarily been that consistent since August, September. But that's because I've been working my ass off at Amazon for like the last two months or so. Like, if y'all had never been to an Amazon building before, it's 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 hard labor. <laughs> it's hard labor for sure. Believe that. Um, but I just, I guess this is the type of thing that the deal with me is about this, right? So, from my perspective of the deal is i don't necessarily like to be controlled i don't necessarily like to be i don't necessarily like to be controlled or 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 changed right as a person if you have to change who you are or if you have to be controlled to like how you feel and and and, and, and like control to like what's going on inside your mind like to the point where you're like a bot a robot or a zombie or or like a or like a puff somebody's puppet that's the point where i start to drift away and shift away from the person who's trying to change me or control me as a person because me my pride is so big and my ego is so big that i am my own person i, I am always jack keith johns i am always fresh king johns no matter what you feel me so it doesn't even it doesn't even it doesn't even matter what environment I go to or who I come across or who I cross paths with. If you try to if you try to do certain things that's gonna try to like like to, to gain power or gain control of me. Like if y'all literally haven't walked into an Amazon sortation warehouse, or if y'all literally haven't walked into an Amazon building and see how it is for yourselves, it's literally hell. Like they try to sweet talk you when you first get the job and tell you, oh, a lot of people say it's gonna be like a sweatshop. A lot of people say they hate working here, but I tell y'all, y'all are gonna have the most amazing time working here. We're not gonna ask too much out of you. We're very flexible with your schedules. All that is cap, 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 baloney BS, right? They are not flexible with your schedules. They ask a hell of a lot out of you. And anything you do that they don't like, they threaten to write you up with. And you can't even have your phones out. You can't even, you can't even walk slow. I got written up yesterday for walking too slow in the warehouse. How the, like, in a job, how, how do you get written up for walking too slow? Does that sound like the most ridiculous shit y'all have ever heard in y'all's life? You're going to write somebody up because of the speed of he was walking at. I was picking up three to four packages, three to four boxes at a time. I, I was doing what they asked for. But since I wasn't since I wasn't oh, playing defense and sliding like these, they want to write me up and shit. 
since I wasn't, since I wasn't in my defensive stance and shuffling and had my feet chopping and shit, like like we were doing the fire drill back in high school, they wanna, they wanna, they wanna write me up. Like, come on now. And like the the, the stupid like, and what's worse on top of that is I found out. I found out that my homie, right? I, I, I met this homie at this Amazon job. His name is Chris Joyce. I met this homie at Amazon and he'd been talking to all my females behind my back and never said a word about it. The only way I will find out about it is by confronting him face to face or through DMs. Every time, like, it seems like he always wanted something that I wanted. Like, whatever happened to the bro code, bro? Like, it seemed like anything, like, he'd be asking me, like, yo, yo, like, you got any women? Who you talking to? You know, and I thought we was homies, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have, like, a friend or, like, a best friend or, like, somebody you tight with like this, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't suspect they trying to talk to your female. You, you just want to, you probably be thinking that they just trying to see who you talking to or, like, you, or they just trying to see you know, who you messing with, you know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't necessarily think that they'd actually go behind your back and run game on the females that you was talking to, nah. But that's what he was doing this whole time. He be asking females who I was talking to, he go talk to, he go, he go run up behind that female and chase up behind that female like a puppy dog, and he run game on them behind my back, get they Snapchat, start running game on them. That shit was fucked up. And so now I'm at a point where I don't even want to work for Amazon no more. Um, ha ha as bad as they've been treating me um, these past 14 to 28 days and how bad it's been. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just been hell, y'all. I haven't been able to enjoy myself. I My schedule will be wake up, go to work, get off work go to sleep wake up go to work get off work go to sleep i haven't had any chance to go grocery shopping with my family i haven't had time to go to church with my family i haven't even had time to upload videos on this channel you feel me like i haven't even had time to like do the shit that i enjoy it, i've just been being controlled this whole time like and now that I like kind of made the decision to kind of step back and step away from Amazon, I finally feel free. Like this whole time I felt like I've had shackles on me. This whole time I felt like I had I was being like controlled by some puppet master, like by some grand puppet master. And and it, it's just been horrible because half the people in that Amazon building who are like managers and stuff, like I say like 50 to 60 percent of those people don't even know what they're doing like 50 percent 50 to 60 percent of those managers and, and processing assistants they don't even know what they're doing and yet they are managers and processing assistants that lets y'all know that everything is not earned everything is not given like like rewards are not given to those who earned it in life in life Sometimes rewards are given to those people who are privileged. Sometimes in life, it's not what you know or it's who you know. Sometimes in life, it's not about how hard you work, but how much you kissed ass. Or it's not, it's not, about, how hard, it's not about how hard you work, but it's about how much money you have to buy the statuses that you want to achieve in life. So, I mean, I just... I just been going through some shit behind closed doors that I haven't been telling people about. I don't necessarily have any friends. I mean, I have one friend. Uh, shout out RJ Russell. Um, he's down there in Kansas right now. He's supposed to be coming back for the Christmas break. I'm supposed to be seeing him in a week or two. Maybe I can start doing some vlogs with him on this channel or whatever. Um, but I just haven't had time. I just haven't had any free time to myself because I've been so busy working for Amazon. And I've been working six days a week at that place. If anybody, if any of you know what it's like to work at Amazon, or if y'all know what one shift looks like, just one shift, a four hour shift, then imagine what I must have been going through. Bro, my back hurt, my knees hurt, my feet hurt, dog. I'm tired of this shit. So I just had to. I had to get it out. I had to vent to somebody because 
I had to, cause I had to, I had to get it out. I couldn't keep it in. Like, I'm, I was so hurt these past 24 hours. I ain't do shit but lay in bed all day. I was so exhausted and so sore. Like, I was so burned out and so mentally frustrated and mentally stressed out that I was, I didn't feel like doing nothing but laying down and feeling sorry for myself y'all that i'm better than that my parents taught me to be better than that you know what i'm saying my big brother taught me to be better than that i'm i'm not supposed to be feeling like that when you feel like that as a worker and when you feel like that like for whatever you're doing in life get away from it because it's not good all money is not good money just because Just because you get paid big bucks to do something in life does not mean that's the right lifestyle for you. Just because drug dealers get paid a hell of a lot of money, that does not make it good money. Just because OnlyFans models and, and strippers get paid high bucks and big bucks by a lot of these simps, that does not make it good money for you women out there. Just because... Just because... And, and you know that goes for everything in life because you see a lot of professional athletes step away from basketball because they're tired of being controlled and tired of being not being able to speak up and say what they want to say to the media and shit. Shout out Kyrie Irving. Like I see, I, it's like I'm having an awakening now. It's like I'm being awoke. Now. It's like I'm woke now. I can see this world for what it really is. Like I can see what some people have to go through. Like just because. Kyrie Irving was getting paid millions of dollars to, to, to play the game that he loved every day doesn't mean that it was good money. He still had his internal struggles and his internal issues, and he still was being controlled by the, the Brooklyn Nets and the media. You feel me? So just because you get paid really, really good to do something in life does not mean that it's good money. Just because you get paid a lot of money to, 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 to work for some place or do something does not mean that that's the spot for you. The spot for you is the spot that you feel passionate about doing. The spot for you is, is, the, is doing the stuff that you love doing every single day. The spot for you is the type of stuff that you enjoy doing. The, the, the type of job where you wake up and you just can't wait to, get, to go clock in. It's the job that you can't wait to go do some work in. But I just had to get it out. I just had to vent to somebody because... Like, like I told y'all, man, like I'm in a like mentally dark place right now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just had to like, um, just share it with somebody because that shit was really getting to me mentally, you know. It's your boy on Fresh King Johns, man. Hopefully, I can like just take these next couple weeks. I want I want to step away from Amazon. I want to get away from Amazon. That place is trash. I hate they're they're so biased and so and so con like so strict and so controlling. I just I just I just can't deal with it no more. I can't not not another day. I can't I can't. I don't care how mentally strong you are. Amazon will find a way to break you, bro. So that's all I wanted to talk to y'all about today, man. Um, appreciate y'all. And. uh this your boy Fresh King Johns, man. I'll catch y'all ass later, man. Peace.